Good man, good. That's good. I'll call you look. Uh, again, come back to the substantive issue here and um, section three of the bill, I suppose it's the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, we're here trying to cobble a system together to cover up a total mismanaged, a total ill thought out of. And someone said here one day, where was conceived? Irish water. And where was the baby delivered? And what kind of an infant was it? And what kind of a beast is it grown into? But all these things have happened already. Under the watchful eye of the late, uh, sorry, of the former minister, I uh, affectionately called Big Phil Hogan. And he's able, and I always said, the more civilised and more um, reasonable face of the Department of the Environment at that time, a deputy uh, from, from, deputy from um, Louth, who I believe now, at this stage, has enough information. He has the grenade, a citizen privately, he has the grenade in his hand. I had a water, water meter here one evening on this debate. And it's about the same size as a hand grenade. It's a bit bigger, a bit more technical. But he has the grenade if he wants to pull the pin and sink this uh, beast. Not the government, but the beast. Yes, this beast is a failure. You couldn't bring it to a match, you couldn't bring it anywhere, said it. No one did, no one buy it, did, no one take it, no one wants it. And yeah, no means the Kelly doesn't want it either. He doesn't want his legacy to be the beast of the, 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 the depraved beast of Irish water. That would be some legacy. I said it this morning and I won't dwell on that. No one wants it. It's a monstrosity contrived by uh, people and some officials and some private people and some, you know, people that thought this is a great idea. A lot of us are due to retire. A lot of us are, will be out there when we're, we're only 50s and we'll have our pension and we'll have our redundancy and we might get a job someplace else and was devised and created as a rest home for senior officials, but also uh, to take in lots of money and bleed the people. And I'm on record as saying this, I believe water has to be paid for. I'm on record as saying I do water from, with a horse and care from a well and a hand pump, the battle. Anyone that did that, and most people in the country, I'm only 56, remember those days, and I salute the pioneers in the group schemes. I salute the pioneers that developed it. And I want to put something on the record here today. I want to thank and compliment the county council officials and workers on the ground and the plumbers and the caretakers and inspectors who ran a very good service for years, stabbed their funding, certainly. And to hear the Taoiseach and to hear the Minister Burton, Thomas Burton and others saying that Irish Water got a desert. There was no pipe work, network, there was no uh, intake plants, no treatment plants, there was nothing. You think they were out in the, out in the Sahara somewhere? There was a scheme that worked, and so we weren't all coming up to Dublin black with the dirt, were we? We were washed and clean, and we were able to have a sanitation, thanks be to God. You'd think by then that we were going over the bucket all the time, and the bell, and the ginners, and the rail horn, bringing it from the, from, the, from the wells, or going down into the bogs, into the bog holes of water. We had services, we had treatment plants, we had good staff, we had good people who worked all hours of the day, Christmas Day and other days to provide the water and fix the leaks and talk to people. And there are also the inside officials and fairness them, they've been dismissed as if they never worked either. And a lot of them I know and are friendly with and respect the work they did. They devised a system of charging because farmers, publicans, hairdressers, uh, constituency officers, everything you name it, uh, all business are paying for water for decades now. And there was meters fitted. And there was uh, supplies, and there was accounts directed to them, and you could talk to them if they had a leak, they got a leakage allowance once if they had a big leak they didn't know about. So there was a system, a perfect system working. But no, that wouldn't give the jobs to the boys and the quango that would want to have uh, another job, a second job, a second income on top of their pension, and on top of their uh, massive payout. So I want to put pay to that, and salute the people. And the department officials have worked so hard in my county to get the burn court federal scheme, which is going on there for 50 years. And I don't know, Minister Hayes announced that the contract was signed last January. I haven't seen sight of the contract on here, but when I went inquiring, I was told was the contract had been executed. I thought it was back in the days of the 1916 rising. Executed. A new terminology, a new word that the ISKN has. A new terminology, a new phrase, executed. The minister might tell me what he means by a contract executed. But no shovel or no sod has been turned, minister, and he'll be welcome down there any day, and I welcome uh, Minister Coffey, a uh, good friend of mine as well, into the chamber. And I know he doesn't want Irish water, and I know he doesn't, he's not, he's not happy with this bill because he's a practical man that understands it. Sorry. 
Yeah, good man. I, uh, all right. Tell that to the people at Port Lawn, Ballam McCarthy in places. And, and they'll, 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 be, they'll be talking. I said it. And the figurines, a little pencil. How about a pencil, no? They'll go into the ballot box in the privacy and they'll put the stroke. You know what they'll put here, right? Not for anyone that supports it. Not for anyone that supports Irish water. Yes. And the systems have been there and the systems have been devised and developed and we have a water supply. Uh, we mightn't have them. And then, um, Minister, and the, some clever officials again, when they got in, into trouble with Europe for uh, the, the treatment plants, Bray was the first one, some other ones, they decided to portray the ordinary people of Ireland who had septic tanks. Many of them dug them by hand. Many of them put them in themselves at a huge cost. And many of them had treatment plants in recent years. That they were dirty. We are the people that caused them the trouble. Anybody that never had the water do water going well wasn't going to pollute anyone's water. So they had it right, but we have towns and villages, I could name 34 of them in South Tipperary, that have no treatment plant whatsoever, my own village included, a big tank and a four-inch pipe, as I think Deputy, Deputy Fismar said earlier, going straight out, belching out raw sewage, out into the... Out into the but no, Minister Hogan was going to terrorise the, 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 the dirty people of Ireland. We were going to make them have manners and clean themselves up and get their septic tanks right. And I tell the EPA it's a Democrat in the trouble. But the tune has changed altogether now. It's the, it's the, you're telling us, I think the Minister Coffee, Coffee Minister 4,200 plants yesterday, but I know that's hardly true, but maybe it is. They were below standard. Now, we have the real beast. Has, has, been, has, been, has been formed and they know where the trouble is. We knew all the time because in Minister Hogan's own, Farm Minister Hogan owns constituency, Kilkenny in, in, in 2006, the EPA found that over 50% of the plants were below standard. And we're going to persecute and arrest and put them in jail if the dirty people in the households that were polluting the ground. Bring them off in the paddy wagons. They were not fit people to be, fit people to be living in all out here. They should be back to the caves or go someplace else or immigrate maybe to the jobs in Canada. And what happened? He dropped a, oh, and magical, I called it um, 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 Fiverr Friday in Joe Duffy. I thought Fiverr Friday came to town, men, dropped it down to a fiver. I passed a basket around here money for the fivers, you might remember. And then the whole thing was dropped off the, off the, off the situation. Uh, several people then made applications, businessmen, uh, they're in the business, two I didn't, to, 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 to uh, become uh, legitimate contractors. But then you ran up against an obstacle, a huge obstacle. Part of the form, and I got the form, but a lot of pages in it. But one page you had to get a letter from a local authority, didn't be your own, to say that they could take the sludge. If you were going to go out to Johnny or Mary or Tommy and empty the tank for them. Oh, the problem was the local authority couldn't give the letters. They had no capacity. You're one Deputy Minister Coffey or you're one Minister Kelly or my one in South Tip or Offaly or anyone around, no, they had no capacity. And this became a bigger issue then. It became a national issue. They had no capacity in any plant, anywhere. And they were going to tell the people that this, well, they expected to eat the stuff. What are they going to do with it? I mean, they no place to take it, and it's going to cost them several hundred thousand, and then they were going to give a grant. And then it turned out that 29 tanks only were being, were being tested in my county of Tipperary, and your county minister as well. 19 below and, and 20 above, or the I'm not sure. And they were going to have that many inspections. And the whole thing died a dead. The, the little people were left alone. 19 of them. And, and, and anyone that, that registered, they thought they would get a grant. Couldn't get a grant unless they were inspected, first of all. And secondly, um, the grant was under the wages. The grant was only going to take off the cover and look into it and do a bit of reseeding the top of the ground. That's not the cover. It wasn't going to cover the substantial works. And you knew that. Con job. Con job of the, of the highest order. But brings on to this con. This is the real con. This is the real, 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 uh, the real mother uh, quango of them all. We were told the CER was going to fix the, pri fix the prices. And now Minister Kelly's come in here two weeks ago, he's here again to tell us the prices, he fixed the prices. The CER is redundant, so is it? The government fixed the prices, they ran away, and they brought the social, they're using the social welfare bill. I put on my dial last Saturday week in, 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 in Labour Talk News, travelling, and I heard RTE News that the Department of Social Welfare are going to have, imply more staff to administer to pay back the 100 euro. This is a great thing altogether. The figures have been quoted, very well, the figures by Deputy Donnelly earlier, of the 536 million to fix the borders and the cost of running it and everything else. So this is going to be off, off, off balance sheet. It's going to be inside like a corrosive rust. And it's going to wreck the balance sheet, all in the sake of having this, as I said, child conceived and delivered and, and, and breastfed and bottle fed and now delivered and now delivered and, and to be there for the fat cats. It stinks from the high heaven. 
stinks. As long as it says it's just a, a, a quango. And as I said, the minister, the foreign minister, has, has the has the enough information. He was getting the intimidation from whoever was wanting to get this job. I mean, the contract was awarded for the meters before the company had the contract, had a, had a, had their own registration number. Something I think couldn't happen. As I said, umpteen times to sign into into law and law and league. 25th day of December, whatever the indecent hate, I don't know. And as I said, um, um, it's, it's there now, and you having to cop on the common sense to just scrap it. Just scrap it. Have to wake at the funeral and bury it. Because it'll bury E, and it's happening. And it'll do huge damage to democracy in this country as well, because we have the people marching, and I said yesterday to thank them and salute them for their behaviour and their attitude yesterday. They were in good spirits in spite of, of, being, of all the, 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 the economic hardship they're facing and the cost of travelling to Dublin and the cold of it. And I salute them. And I think there was one or two people asked because you don't support those people and they don't want it in any mass, but they want that uh, business anyway. So as I said, another area that I have huge worries about, because off balance sheet, my, you know what, it's going to be in the balance sheet. It's going to cost us a fortune. Because all these fat cats now and the top people have contracts and they have bonus culture, if you wouldn't mind. And they get a bonus even if they don't earn it. I mean, this is pure ludicrous. Because they're drafted up by these people who have created this monster for themselves. And that's wrong in this country in the last 20 years. Quangos after quangos after quangos by people that have their hands around the handlebars of power and you'd need a jackhammer to get them off it. And the ministers said, come and go, and you come and go. And the few you'd be gone. And I might be gone as well out here, but whoever will be here can't change. Senior officials have this country plundered and plundered. And if I can come in here and dealt with everyone, I'm not looking at the officials here, I'm talking to the senior officials in departments. We saw it. What happened to Kevin Cardiff after all the advice he gave to Brian, late Brian Linehan? He got promoted to Brussels. He couldn't be sacked. And anybody else are punished. Not at all. There's no, there's no retribution for them. At least all of us here face the electorate and, and that's the way it should be. But no, not these people. The permanent government. They devised this. They devised this. And devised it to suit themselves. A pension scheme for, for some of their own people. A pension scheme. There's three former county managers that I know of in there, and there's several other senior officials in there. And um, here we are. We have the pipe fixed yet. We have the side turn. We have the, we have the sewers plant. Talking about rings in, they come in and tell us to save 180 million. It's a different animal you're putting in, a different vehicle. It's not the same plant. It's not just your magic magicians. And, and, and it's, it's not the same plant. We all know that. Anyone that knows anything about it knows it's not the same plant. I just don't know, as I said, the exemption, I asked you earlier, Minister, you didn't refer to it, the exemption that we got out of the River Basin plan, that, you, I, that I'm told that you're going to sign, sign away. We have very few exemptions and delegations uh, with Europe. That was sought and fought hard for, we got it. And why are we going to just dispose of it? Are we completely banana mad? It's like Raven Man. After all this EU did this with the, with the financial crisis and robbed us in the so-called bailout, clean out I called it, and now we're going to give away this delegation that we had, the one hard fought that I have here, and I have no explanations as to why. We're supposed to be putting a new plan in, in the 1st of January, or whenever, and we're going to get rid of that, um, uh, get rid of that um, delegation. Why? Why, why, why? Just to preserve the beast, to feed it more, to, to, to stimulate it, put it on steroids, fat beast, beast it up for the, for the wealthy people. And, and the con actors that are in there, laughing at us. I go here to meet him here two, two weeks ago, yesterday, Wednesday, and I had seven or eight questions. I didn't get an answer yet, even though I emailed the questions the day after. They told me barefaced porkies, because they told me that they never heard of a problem in Clonmel with sewers, be, sewers being blocked in private, and I've tried to write to them, tried to ask them parliamentary questions. The CEO of the council had written to them. And they tell you that, I expect you to believe it. These are the people that were isolated from any responsibility at senior levels in, in other departments and other, other councils before. They hadn't answered to anybody. Nobody. So. They've got looked after then by former ministers, not this minister, the big fellow that's gone. He got to look after himself as well and got sent off to Brussels. Former deputy, uh, former deputy, uh, deputy Hogan. The huge worry I have, and you have a two minister copy, especially, and maybe probably Mr. Kelly. The people that I said are paying for years, the farmers, the shopkeepers, industry, the hairdressers, the um, funeral palace, the hairdressers, anywhere. This is already a problem with less number here with meters and, and the fixed charge and the standing charge has gone up and up and up. Someone is going to have to pick up the can here for the climb down that Minister Kelly has done. I won't use the le legacy word again because he knows all about that. Um, the climb down. Someone's going to pick it up. So will it be pushed on to these people? It will be pushed on to these people. 
No doubt about it. Uh, CMCC Air are installing 600 metres in the Clohene, uh, Clohene and um, Monahone and Kidnall areas of South Tipperary as I speak. The metres and boxes that they fitted 15 months ago under a contract with South Tipperary Council. Uh, at the time, the Tipperary Council insisted that they put uh, metal um, uh, manhole covers on the footpaths, especially in Monahone, the streets are narrow and the footpaths are low and trucks go up on them and break them. And they agreed. What they come this time? And they put on their plastic covers and took away all the, all the steel ones and throw it on the scrapyard in San Mel. And they'll be broken. They won't be gone after the job and they'll be broken. And they'll leak then and they'll be full, they'll be replaced again. Keep creating more business for the lads themselves. But the problem I have is the, tech, is the, is the cost to, to the consumer. Who's going to stop it? Who's going to say how? Oh, those people are paying already their meters and they're not, they're not, not being happy, but they're not complaining and they are paying. There was a 98% collection rate, and I salute the rent collectors as well, and the, and the business people for paying it in, in South Tipperary, which is fabulous. And they don't mind paying for a service once they get a service, but the price is going to be jacked up and through the roof, and they'll put out of business. We were debating the rate, uh, rates bill here by the Deputy McGinnis here two weeks ago, because the rates, this is a, another a poison that's inside the pipes waiting now to pond them. Someone's going to have to pay if Minister Burton is going to use the social welfare bill to give back £100 to houses. Some of them people they had believe it to me. They said, it's a Christmas coming early. They have a septic tank and they have a well, and I'm going to get 100 quid back from the government. They think this is Christmas shopping money. Uh, eight of December is gone, I know, but they'll have a big spin spree after Christmas. And the 6th of January, the sales, the 100 euro go further. If they get it, and so the welfare must take on more staff to administer it. The whole thing is staff raving mad. And I don't know why you can't just say, look, that, as I said, this beast is a bad creation. It's not fit for purpose. It's looking after fat cats, it's climbing on the people, it's ruining democracy, it's going to banish, as I said today, the Labour Party off the face of the country and severely tackle the Deputy Minister Coffey's party and all for what? To fulfil, to fulfil promises and side, side shoves to cronies that have been chucked into Irish water. For no other reason, I can't see any other reason. Just to create this monster, they got away with it with air it was the same way. They were going to do hell and artists and drive over the country. Now they're told us this week they're going to have a new consultation. They're going to be nice. They're going to come down to the country and listen to us. I asked the chairman two years ago to put on his wellington and come out in the fields of Tipperary and see what they're putting the pilots. They didn't want to hear about it. But now they have a different attitude. They've learned. They appreciate the age stuff. They were listening like you're supposed to be listening, but you're not listening. You're listening like the I'm so up in bed, half asleep, and he had one, one, one ear down the pillow, and the other one covered with his, with, his, with, his, with his scarf or something, or his caffeine, and he can't hear anything. You're just kind of listening. In one ear and out the other. I'm not listening. To, pretending to be listening, and you're not listening. I won't listen. And that's the rock you're going to perish on. So as I said, I've used concerns about, uh, about um, private uh, people, the, 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 the abattoirs and people like that, and big industry who are using power, power water. They have to use it. And they have to pay for it, not paying for it. And there's no element at all of conservation. The meters now going in at that huge cost, 536 million. They've got, even got that wrong. The they have 100 million out of the rest of it for the cost of it. And they're, um, they're, they're, not, they're not going to be used at all. They're just put in for ornaments. So we can go look into them and maybe put, 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 maybe put, a, put a, a geranium plant or something inside the box. And maybe water from below or on top or whatever. They're going to be as ornaments. The meters in Monday Hone that are in there, I went out with Irish water and looked at. Spank new meters went in last year, taken out again. As all was needed was a little, the, the little thing on top. It's, the clips are there on them. It said fit the new piece onto that could read them by the drive-by. Uh, read them technically rather than by, by, by your eyes. Very hard then for a man or woman or anybody to read that meter because uh, the new thing they've got on top of them, the fitting, uh, obscures some of the red, uh, the red uh, digits. And you can't see, if you want to check your, have a water leak, you want to check your turn your water off at midnight. And you get up at 7 or 6 in the morning and read it again, see if you leak. And if you have, you better read it. But not this one. So it has to be gone into 1,000 litres before you can see any leak. It's a set up, it's a cash cow, designed, created, and perpetrated on the people to deliver fat cats and make them fatter. It's like rubbing butter to a fat sow, you know what. That's what it is. That's what it is. Nothing else. It's an insult to the intelligence of the people. An insult. That's what it is. Nothing else. And designed that way, created that way, and, it's, and you're here today, want to vote it through again tonight or tomorrow, in spite of, as I said, you know it happens all it's wrong. You know it's wrong, because, as I said, the councils, and you're denigrating the good councils that you all served in, or many you served in over the years, that did the work. 
and had into desert, down the desert. They had some water treatment plants and had, and had, had, had uh, good, good services and good supplies and they were contactable. And you didn't, when people are ringing now to fix the water, ring Irish water, they don't know where towns in Tipperary are. Never had them, they said. Bring the council. Bring the council. We can't do that. Let's ring Irish water. I had that situation one Sunday evening about two months ago. Let's come home from a match. The whole road was in his main blown up. Well, they rang and rang and rang and rang the emergency number on the council. Rang the care guardie for a finish, because the road was a danger and a threat. Not a mindset of waste of water. And care guardie gave him Matty McGrath's number. And I was able to get someone, thank God, in the council that I knew that I uh, with the number I had the caretaker. But this is the first of it. The council now, a woman come out to council, um, the council um, uh, caretaker, I see what's of it. I said, I have a leak in here. Oh, I know, and he would look at it. I can't touch it. Mary, you must um, ring Irish water first. Did you ever hear the beat of it? And Irish water then must come back when they decide to come back and instruct him or ask him or tell him or whatever. They have a memorandum of understanding to, to deal with it. This is just nonsense of the highest order, and you know it. And the man above knows it here, sitting above in the back corner, quietly. But he had the grenade in his hand if he pulled the pin. You were gone, they were gone. Because funny things have happened here. Deals were done here in hotels in Dublin about this. I have information on it, not as much as he has, but I have information on it. I haven't been verified, so I'm not going to put it on the record. Deals were done, side deals, side issues were done, hundreds of millions. Wind energy was part of it as well. It was all a big, crazy scheme. Not crazy, not crazy at all. A Ponzi scheme for seven people, not crazy. But the deals were done in this city, not far away from where I'm standing, in a hotel. I know about it. Uh, but I must confirm it. I won't speak because I haven't to confirm, but it'll come out very soon. But as I said, you have time enough to back off. You have time enough to rethink. If you have any respect for your constituents, and if any respect, we're here to serve the people. We're talk to Dolly, messengers of the people. Please, Willie, some of you go missing tonight and let the vote collapse. Do something to save some bit of honour and dignity and go back to your, your, your constituents with some bit of pride and some bit of responsibility <laughs> as they talk to Dollar. I wonder the mandate she got, and you got the finest mandate ever, but you trampled that down the drain long ago. So before I finish, uh, Black and Cola, I want to ask the former minister, Susan, sir, um, to, to, to come clean. He has the information. He knows. He knows, and he will, but it'll be too late. And he knows that uh, difficult things happen, and queer, sorry, queer things happen, wrong things happen, immoral things happen, and all right, and it'll all come out in the wash. If we have water to wash them, for a market.